Hello everyone, and we are actually doing two weeks in a row, in a row, in a row of unboxing videos. Um, yeah, this one's kind of short. We're just unboxing a case, literally, because why not? So it's like a Switch carrying case. It's I decided not to get a design on it other than the Switch because like I didn't want a design on it. So it's a Game Traveler Deluxe Travel Case. It has game card cases and micro SD card cases. And it looks like this. It looks basically the exact same on the box, except it's like a switch and a um, cartridges and stuff. And it holds a protector switch, had to divide it to protect, protect screen from zippered mesh, with zippered mesh pocket for extra game cards and durable stuff to protect it. In each case, it's four game cards. Micro SD card fits in any section of the game card case, thus free protection. Basically, some same stuff set up there. So, um, yeah. I don't know who made this, but I think it's like whatever that company is. So yeah, it's very beautiful. And to open it, I'm not sure how we open it. First of all, I'm just gonna get a scissors quick and like undo that tape if possible. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna try and do everything else first then. So this thing appears to come outward. Somehow. We could just tear it up. Hmm. Okay, how about we cut ahead until we can actually open it? Oh, and yeah, salt, soggy pickle recording, you know? So, yeah, I guess we'll cut ahead until we can actually, like, get it started opening. See you then. Bye. Okay, that was beautiful. So, we, what we did, we, like, took off the tape bit so it didn't cover that. Oh, there and there. And also, we filled that out, but I can't because I have loose fingers. So we continue now. We get that. Oh goodness. Um, how did we expect you to do this? Did you just like peel it? <gasps> Magical. And now you um, do that. Sure. And then you undo that. And then you get it out of there somehow by pulling hard. So as you can see, it has a nice Switch logo, and it has two little squares for some reason. It's not 3DS, I don't know why. And a little Switch zipper logo. On the back, it's the same thing except no logo. So now if we open it up, oh goodness, it's locked in some manner. I think I need scissors. I got scissors. Two toppers? Okay, no it's not. There. Okay, that thing's removed now. So the scissors down, because it's going to scissors. Open it up, and we smell it. Does it smell beautiful? It smells like rubber, kind of. We have two foam pads that stay kind of useless. We could keep them, maybe. And some paper that we can obviously throw away. It's off the table. And so there's a little Velcro here that you can keep it on. So we're not going here, my father was. So there's these two game card things, and here you can hold in two or one micro SD cards. I can't really tell if I can open them. Um, there's room for two micro SD cards in here, which is nice if, you, if I actually had them, but I didn't. I suppose I did. But you can just store those in there, I guess. This is kind of confusing. And then I'll just go get a game card out quick. Which is Splatoon 2, and shameless, y'all. We're gonna plug in the unboxing video right here. You should go watch it if you've not, even if you have, watch it again. So, I guess you just put it in. Is it lock in place, or does it just sit there? Oh, so. It it kind of locks in place, but you have to like lift it up. Like it, it won't go left and right, but it might go up and down. But if you have it closed, it won't go up and down, so it's safe. This is a lot easier easier than hauling around lots of game cases or just keeping them in a ziplock. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get it. So Yeah, you can see that fits in there pretty well. I'll just keep that in there for now. And that in there for now too. I and mean, then there's two of those, so you could store more stuff, I guess. I'm just gonna make this symmetrical, because I'm that symmetrical kid, y'all. 
And then here you could put in, store in like Joy-Con straps or something, and it's padded, which is nice. Like I don't really have anything put in there right now. Like, how about this? I'll put a Joy-Con in there. I'm not supposed to, but I'll put a Joy-Con in there. So it's beautiful. It's it's very protected. It's very foamy on this side, or it's meshy foamy on this side too. So it would definitely stay safe. Put it back on. We can put this in here. And get the Velcro from down here. Too stick to there, so it's like stuck in now. Very good. So it won't really fall out easily, as you can see. Up, it, it passes the upside down test, as you can see. So, yeah. And then, like, you could probably store game notes in here, or like really anything. And so, yeah, this is definitely something I'd recommend. It's only $20, which is definitely worth it. Based on what I see right now, I'd probably rate it probably 9 out of 10. It's pretty solid. 5 stars, 9 out of 10 rating. So yeah, um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, do the opposites. I don't even care. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.